Well, I want to show you some new products we're introducing here at AWFS. The first one is a new taper jig. It's a the traditional taper jig uh, is, you know, it has two arms and a hinge, and it's an awkward thing at best. You hold it against the fence, you hold the workpiece against it, you try and push it through, and come out with ten fingers. And we we have never felt real comfortable with that, so we wanted to build a sled version, which is nothing really new, but it. But we added a, a, some new bells and whistles. Um, it's a 32 inch platform, it has a 36 inch miter bar, so you have a four inch extension for a lead in when you first start your cut. Uh, we've added some self adhesive abrasive strips, and those actually serve two functions. One is to hold the workpiece solid on the jig, and it also helps secure the fence so it won't slip. So it's really held in place. We've redesigned the um, hold down clamps. We've made them wider and we've added a rubber anti-slip tip on both ends. So when you put your workpiece in and clamp this down, it's really secured, it's one solid unit. Uh, we've added a tape measure on both ends so you can set your angle. And then we've also added a series of nicks in the, the platform and each one indicates a one degree angle. So if you're on the fourth nick here and you're on the sixth nick here, it's a difference of two nicks, which is two degrees. So you can set the degree. A fluting jig for a router. When you go to cut a series of flutes on a, in a workpiece, this jig is it's a sled that rides along the workpiece. The router is mounted on this movable uh, plate. It's okay. pre-drilled for uh, 890 series routers, but it's acrylic, so it's easily uh, drilled to any router yeah, you have. you can drill without having a crack or split. Yep, exactly. Okay. Um, the jig has a phenolic guide so that it's very slippery along the edge of the workpiece, so it slides well. But the real feature of the jig is, is how you index it. The nice thing about this jig is you can set up your entire layout without a tape measure. It's all incorporated in the jig. We've designed it so the edge of this writable surface is, it is, represents the edge of your workpiece. And then we've scored the, the platform on the center point of your bit. So when you set this up, you first set up the very first cut, how far it is from the edge of the workpiece. Say if it's two inches, you bring the scale out to two inches, and you come and you mark the zero point. Okay. Then you come over the distance of your first flute, let's say it's an inch and a half, and you make a mark on the inch and a half line. Then you zero out that inch and a half line and you mark the next one. Then you zero that out and mark the next one. And you end up with a story stick okay. for all your flutes. The next jig is a router table box joint jig. Uh, this jig will cut quarter inch, three eighths, or half inch dovetail or uh, box joints and up to a three quarter inch thick stock. Um, it comes with, temp or, uh, with indexing keys that are machined within five thousandths of an inch. Um, it comes with a quarter, a three eighths, and a half inch key, so you can cut all three joints. Um, it locks itself in the miter miter slot. It has just a quick locking mechanism. Then one other thing we did is our sled is it's designed so you can mount a uh, sacrificial fence on it. But the other key feature of the sled is we designed it so it only goes so far. It has a stop. And what that's for is so that you can't go in and do this. Right. It won't come through the back. And so because box joints are kind of repetitive, and sometimes your mind easy, rips. Easy to yeah, stop you're just thinking. not paying attention. So we okay. just wanted to make sure that if your finger is right so the, or the thumb is, is always, the blade is always housed. Yeah. When you get through the cut, you can't possibly go too far and exactly. hurt yourself. Exactly. The next item I'd like to show you is over here, and it's called uh, a bench cookie. This is 
a, a product we developed in, in response to a, just a common problem of trying to hold a workpiece on a bench while you're doing your sanding, routing, finishing, anything. Okay. And you know, sometimes you'll use dogs on your vise, dogs in the bench, um, but they're never quite right, you know, and they're never the right place, or they're on the end of the bench with everything else already on it. So you're always um, working where you're not supposed to be working. Yep. The other thing it, it it doesn't do is if you've got a piece of a work piece and you want to route it. Bearing oftentimes goes below the surface of the workpiece, so you're stuck. Okay. So what we did is we, we developed a bench cookie, which we, we kind of paraphrase it, lifts, lifts the workpiece off the bench, it grips it, and then also protects it. And if you're doing finish, finish sanding on a piece and you want to work on the other side, you can put it on the on, flip it over sure. and uh, you're not going to mar the not surface. going to mar the surface this is a, a, a demo we we provide to just show people how well these really do do hold right. there's nothing there we just set them on there You'll stand in right. line of fire. right yeah no you know like, if you if you just set this on your bench without any yeah, I can, anyway, how far you want me to and, shoot and it? And started your belt sander. Yeah, it, would it would be gone. It would fly. And we have an 80 grip belt on here, brand new belt, so it's got a pretty good grip to it. Okay. And if you don't bear down on the sander, okay. Yeah. So. If you okay. hold that, it'll hold almost anything. Okay, we uh, we just came out with a new finish on our torsion hinge. And these are uh, a hinge and lid stay combination. And the the beauty of these hinges, they'll hold the lid in any position. Wow. And we have a small display box here. These are um, actually six inch pounds, so you can move them. But the 60 inch pound for a big box, you can't even move it by hand. They're that rigid. So well, what's, the weight, what's the weight capacity? The weight capacity is is actually a formula. And we have we have 40, we have 30, 40, and 60 pound rated hinges. And we have a formula online, and it comes with the hinges. And it takes into consideration the width, the, the depth, and the weight of the, the lid. A cross-cut sled for a portable cable saw. And we have a full-size cross-cut sled for table saws, but we really, you know, so, so many people have the small ones now, the quality is so good that we looked and there's not many accessories that are really being developed specifically for those saws. This is uh, an accessory that has been very popular for, for full-size table saws, and we just said, let's scale it down proper size for a, a, a portable saw. It, um, you know, it has it has a, a, a very accurate scale that uh, you can easily get to within a tenth of a degree. The, we're in half degree marks. Yeah, I, we got a hairline cursor there, and you can easily split all the. You could get lines. you could easily get to a quarter, I would say. Oh, a quarter degree, is, a yep. tenth of a degree. Well, that's a quarter right there. Between those two you lines, can get, yes, quarter. you can get there. Yeah, and I can I I could. You can get very, very fine. It's a good scale. It's, it's a good it's scale. large and easy to read. It comes with a um, uh, flip stop. It has an adjustable fence, so you can zero out. You have support on your cuts. It um, has a, a micro adjust, so when you set it up on your saw, you zero it out. Make sure it's absolutely perfect.